I actually got this camera for two dollars. Um, you see it? You can kind of see it was two dollars. So maybe if you're into Polaroid cameras, you maybe you've heard that they have discontinued the Spectra film. I know they did announce it in 2019 of October, but I know in April I was still able to purchase some film, which is honestly great. But now if you go on the website, it is officially unavailable. Although you can still purchase some on eBay and I believe it's $30 for a pack of eight photos. Pretty expensive, it's a good amount of money there for eight photos. This camera has been around since the 80s and it's honestly crazy to think that it has been that has been 40 years that has been 40 years ago you know and I, I feel it is it just has such an advanced so complex like mechanism like such a crazy thing built that they built in the 80s honestly um, so when we look at this camera i mean already it's just already different from all the other polaroid cameras and we got this little music noise <laughs> this little music button this little no music button um Watch, if you see, no music, but when you turn it on, I don't know if you can hear it, it makes a little ringing noise. And then also, what you have here is a timer, which is honestly so helpful to put it down somewhere and take a photo of all your friends and check it out. It does have a tripod mount, which is very interesting as well. And autofocus, I would honestly just recommend to keep this on forever because uh, I have used it and this thing was off and it was blurry <laughs> and it just sucks <laughs> and then of course you got the flash oh wrong one and of course you got the flash uh, that's up to you I, I personally love the flash and this is for overexposed and underexposed and then of course it shows all your all your photos you have in here and of course your amazing viewfinder you got a little uh, handle bar right here you can also put a uh, a cord around here if you want to use it as a necklace <laughs> so what I just want to say also is it does have like this little grippy it does have like this grip almost on the bottom and the top I love the shutter button you got the little button right here where right? it slides it open and then um, you also have this button right here, and it just opens it up right there for you. This is actually my last pack, and I do plan to use it because, I mean, eventually it will just expire, and I won't be able to use it. So, you know, I'll be like, I just, you know, wasted money. I think it's actually my third pack of the film that I've purchased. But honestly, I'm glad that I was able to use it for a while before the film actually discontinued. I know uh, the 600 film, they announced that it was going to dis discontinue, but look where it is now. You know, they're definitely making more than ever, I think. <laughs> And so you never know what might happen. So I don't know if you know about the double exposure with this thing, but what you do is you're gonna put, an easy way to do it at least, is you put the, the self timer down, right? And once it takes a photo, right? We're not gonna do it yet though, but once it takes a photo, uh, it's gonna click, but the, the this photo isn't gonna actually come out until you push, you until you uh, put this back up. So, instead of putting back up, we're actually going to open it and then close it and then it's going to forget it took a photo and then we're going to take it again. So, let's see how this turns out.
Okay, y'all, so that wraps it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully, y'all learned something from this video. If you did, please let me know. And I have more videos on the way. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.